What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be discussing how to set up your brand new acquired GPRH 1000 G-Shock watch. Let's check it out. Let's go. All right, YouTube, welcome back to the channel. This is the second video for my uh, GPRH1000. Today we'll be discussing how to set up the watch with the Bluetooth app. And this is the easiest, most friendly user interface system I've seen and a very easy way to set up your watch. It takes a few minutes and done. So what you first wanna do if you don't already have it, if it's your first new G-Shock watch that has Bluetooth technology, you wanna download the G-Shock Casio Watches app, which I already have installed on my phone. Um, but this is the most recent um, compatible app. You don't wanna use G-Shock Connected, go ahead and use Casio Watches. All right, gonna open that app after you download it. I've already done that to um, save some time here. Click on my watch and you're gonna see your watches that you have currently set up already listed there. If you haven't done any whatsoever, you're gonna do this on this page. Here, you're gonna click on the plus sign to add a new watch. You're gonna enter the module number, which is actually located on the tag, 3554, the four digit number. If you don't have the tag anymore, it's also located in the back of the watch. It's 3554, type that number into the screen, 3554, hit next and the watch will be displayed on the screen. Here it is, the GPRH1000, select that one. Not sure why they actually select the color code, but there's the yellow one right there. I'm gonna select that one. The purchase date, let's say today, that's fine. Select whatever date you added it. Um, you actually purchased the watch. That's for, uh, it helps the app track your warranty in case you forget. It's a good way to um, kind of note your warranty period on the watch and on the app. Go ahead, click register. You'll see here, I'll prompt you next. They must be paired. In order to uh, pair your phone or your watch, it tells you to hold down the A button for at least two seconds. This displays a screen setting or the setting screen for two seconds, like so. While in the settings display, press C, which is the middle button. Like so. Then you want to click on general settings. So press C again. Pairing until you click all the way through to pairing. Now you're going to see that connecting Bluetooth pairing request. Click on pair. You get the connection notification on your screen of the watch and on your phone. Wait a few seconds. Allow it. Yes, I want to allow connectivity. Pairing complete. Close this and now you have access to your actual phone and the app and your watch. When I set up the beginning initial settings, you see the time is currently 1015, automatically um, corrected itself. That's the current date and time, automatically synced with the watch. But you wanna begin the initial setup because there's additional features and settings you wanna set up on the um, app to track your, um, your settings and your actual location and whatnot. So here we wanna use kilometers or miles for the American or international method. We go ahead and use the, um, our metric system here for miles. Weight, I'm gonna use pounds instead of kilograms. I'm gonna use um, this one here. That's our pressure for to measure pressure locally. Fahrenheit instead of Celsius. And then uh, energy will be KJs instead of KCALs. I think that's correct. If not, I'll correct that later. Now send that to the watch. It's gonna sync that over and send that over. There's my name, my, um, I'm actually blur that out. Mail, my information there, my weight, target steps. And you're gonna send that to the watch. All right, now it's gonna ask you to select if you're your left or right handed user watching your left or the right hand. I like to personally use my watch on my left hand. Send that setting to the watch. All right. Please select your normal sleeping time. I like to go to sleep around 12 a.m. This is because it does track your sleeping habits and it actually gives you information on how well you're sleeping. I like to wake up around 8 a.m. Try to make that as accurate as possible so the watch can capture the right data. 
right? Set heart rate monitor settings. Depending on the settings, available functions and battery consumption rate will differ. Please use the settings most suited for the, to, um, to your purpose. So I do want to keep that on to measure my heart rate as it wears the watches and it actually tracks and graphs the data based on your usage. On only at night during activities, that way it's not constantly using the heart rate and it doesn't drain the battery. You can turn that on and off as suitable to you. Send that setting to your watch. Initial setup complete and you are done in under five minutes. Close that. Good access the app now. It's connected currently to my um, phone. You can see that it's actually synced. It is 1017 on the 21st of January on Sunday. Very accurate, very easy. Then you have some more information here. And you could dis I could discuss that if we have some running. You could set up there how to target alerts. And I'll go into more details on how to operate all these functions at a later time. Um, this is just the setup of the watch itself. Okay. So there you guys have it. I'll do an overview and a deep dive of the application and its uses in a later video. Just wanted to share how to set up the watch for the time being. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Till next time, this is Chicago. Hopefully, you're enjoying your GPR H1000. And to me, so far, it's working quite well. Till next time, I'm out of here. Peace.